when we went in that morning, I decided to address all the troops who were going to go in, about five battalions or four battalions. I started at five o'clock in the morning, went to one battalion, then to the next one, then to the third. I spoke to them and I explained to them what the situation was. I said, the situation is terrible. They're holding this religious place as a fortress. Mm. They're determined on establishing Khalistan. There's no law and order left in the state. We have to go in. We have to recover the Golden Temple from these uh, terrorists. If there's anyone amongst you who doesn't want to go in for religious reasons or any other reasons, I don't hold it against you. Just stand up and stand aside. Your commanding officers are here. I order them that no action will be taken against you. First battalion, no one got up. Second battalion, no one got up. Third battalion, one young Sikh boy, he got up. I said, no problem, son. You don't have to go in. You have strong feelings. I told the CEO, I said, he won't go in. He says, you've got me wrong, sir. You've got me wrong, sir. Not only do I want to go in, I want to be the first one to go in. I want to be the first one to reach the Akal Takht and to get Bindunwari. I said, you're a very brave man. I salute you. And I told the commanding officer, his platoon will be the first to enter. And he will be the platoon commander with these troops there. Brave fellow, Captain Raina. Hmm? Sikh boy, belong to the Jammu area. I spoke to everyone. He was the only one who got up and said he wants to go in. Okay. So now the operation started. His platoon was the first to enter the Golden Temple. And as they entered, fire came from all directions, heavy firing on them. I, I could hear people dying. They can't make progress. He said, I'm trying very hard, but there's a lot of firing going on. And from underground um, uh, tunnels also, there was firing going on, you know, from the walls. So then I had to rush in more troops. And I told his commanding officer, I said, how is he? He said, he's been very badly wounded. Both his legs uh, have been shot. Captain Raina. I said, evacuate him. Bring him out immediately. I have an ambulance waiting here. I'll send him to the hospital straight away. He said, he's refusing to come out. He's crawling. He's going on all his foes. He's carrying on. He says, I'm going to reach the Akal Takht. I'm not going back. I said, now forcibly, because he's bleeding so heavily, forcibly pick him up and bring him out. So he was forcibly brought out, sent to hospital, immediately evacuated, both legs amputated. I got him the Ashoka Chakra, the highest award that you can give to a person, not in actual war. He got the award of Ashoka Chakra. He went into Raj Bhavan. I was in Raj Bhavan the day the award was given to him. He was not married, so his father and mother accompanied him. He was in a wheelchair without his legs and the president, instead of, you have to go up the two steps to receive your medal from the president. The president came down two steps to pin the award on him because he couldn't go up. I was there with tears in my eyes and everyone in the audience had tears in their eyes that this is what our Indian soldiers are. We are ready to give our life.